Get ready for the year of the tiger. The start of the Lunar New Year is just hours away. The in Chinatown's store owners there hope that the new year can help jumpstart their businesses. CBS 2's Christina Fan takes us there. The firecrackers are off and lanterns are up across Chinatown as families pick up last minute essentials to ring in the year of the tiger. This is a Chinese New, new Year bouquet. So all that all pink <laughs> and yellow. At New Confucius Florist, these auspicious arrangements signify luck and good fortune that the Laos hope will smile upon their business too. Before today, you know, it's a snow, it's a not, not, not very good. Lunar New Year also marks new beginnings, which is especially important for Chinatown this year. 87% of the neighborhood's 1,200 storefronts have returned, but tourists have not. At the Golden Unicorn Restaurant, community leaders threw a huge banquet Monday, letting New Yorkers know the pandemic wasn't all bad news. It also brought opportunity, ushering in new businesses with new visions. For example, we used to eat uh, dim sum only in the lunchtime, but now you can eat in the morning, in the lunchtime, you can eat the dinner. If you like it, you can eat uh, in the midnight. And there's no better time to rediscover the neighborhood than now. The two to three week celebration kicking off February 1st will feature fireworks, fly in dancers and end with a parade. So I really hope that, you know, after this new year, we're bringing a lot of luck for our community. You no, know, Year of a Tiger for us is very, very lucky. The like tiger is strong and uh, we just as strong as tigers. Preparing to roar back just like this year's Zodiac. In Chinatown, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. We could all use some good luck around here. Yes, and dim sum for breakfast. Too. Anytime. <laughs> After midnight, it's good too.